Oi, what are you doing today, folks? This is the Pipeline Podcast. I am your gracious host, Kevin. This is my boy. My name Jeff. My name is Jeff. And then my other boy. My name's Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Well, let's start it off. How's your day going, guys? It's night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It was a good day. I can't remember what I did today. It's been a blur. <laughs> it's all been a blur. <sighs> if you could this do more whole, than moan, that would be great. This is my whole contribution to this. Is I'm just, just gonna, moaning. I'm going to make stupid memes. And stupid it's just going to be moan memes. Shit posted in the wrong trace, baby. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on topic on the podcast. What What's the topic today, bud? The topic today is what I fucking did today. I took the fattest shit I've ever taken in my life. A great I start. shit you not, it was like nine pounds, eight ounces. This motherfucker, I went into, like, somebody got me a midwife. This is how <laughs> bad I needed to fucking drop this load. And once I dropped it, baby, that load was nothing bigger than a chode. It was a little pebble inside my toilet, but it felt like a nine-pound baby. <laughs> that, what, was your toilet nine pounds heavier? you? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the little pebble clog that killed my toilet. Its name was Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Epstein? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, we're going to cut Hillary. that. Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Hillary did all along. Stop it. All right, Stop. We're Stop. Politics. politics is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. Quit. Quit while you're ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. You was, better be. It was Bill, too. <laughs> all right, guys. I think we should get to the big thing that we want to talk about. Throw a big spoiler warning up right now. New chapter of My Hero Academia. God damn it. <laughs> of course you would. Yeah, that, that, that boy. Oh, we're dropping that this early. Are we a manga, <laughs> are we a manga right. review channel now? No. The, the, the podcast, you just talk about new popular things. No, you don't. Yeah. Nope. You go to Toys R Us and buy yourselves toys. And you open them in front of your kid and tell your kid you can't have it. You, you, <laughs> you buy a toy for the kid to open... And then you return it, and then, uh, since you have the views already, who cares if he has a toy? Now, no one else is going to know. We don't got views, Trace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but for those retarded, I hate those channels. Those but anyway. Toy review yeah, no, channels. That new, ch- no, that new chapter of My Hero is fucking kick-ass. The fact that Deku gets to go up against Muscular one more time is sick. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gonna lead to like a whole stain thing though. Like they're well, gonna go back. Is it theory that stain's gonna like be because now the whole society is all like fucked now and there's yeah. not real anyone governing who, who what's a or heroes anymore. That everyone's just like vigilantes now. The stain's gonna just become like an antihero and just like team up with because at this point everyone who stayed a hero, a stain will probably see as like a true hero, and then he'll be like he won't kill any of them. He'll just like be like all right, I guess. I feel like that's boogie. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a really big thing happening. Um, I feel like the muscular fight's gonna go fast. The reason why yeah. I feel like it's gonna go fast is because Midoriya has gotten is. better. Yeah, dude. Muscular is fucking blown. It's yeah. gonna show how strong Midoriya gotten now. Yeah, muscular has point. done nothing but sit in prison, so he has no training, no nothing. I mean, he doesn't really need it. Well, yeah, of course, he but he already Midoriya bitches. already beat the crap out of him when well, he barely. was almost at full strength. He barely did it, but now Midoriya's but better. I think it, I think it's not gonna. Be, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be because he's um didn't train or whatever. I think it's like it's just gonna be because for plot they're gonna prove that Midoriya is like because they're, they're, they're gonna show how much they're gonna show. Well, since after he talked to the other holders, they're probably just gonna be like, oh yeah, watch him. Fuck now. <laughs> well, yeah, now he has multiple quirks to his disposal now, huh? He has yeah. two more that we don't know about yet. Yeah. And, yeah. uh... It, I don't... I feel I don't, like it's gonna end up leading to, uh... Because Toga's still missing. To, I yeah. feel like Toga's, Toga's gonna, gonna find Stain. And I feel like she's gonna join him to go against Shigaraki. I think, um... I feel like Stain and Toga are gonna try to fight wait, Shigaraki. Wait, so Why, we're on the... Since, what, hold on, what I think is gonna happen is, um... Since Toga's, like, wanting to find Midori and talk to him, and now that Midori's just AWOL, not AWOL, um... Just on his own. Is it AWOL? He's just a vigilante. Yeah, yeah, at this point, he's just a vigilante. Since he's, like, since he's just on his own now, and yeah. out, running around the city, probably sometime after, probably, if not, right, if not, like, pretty soon after, like, a little bit after, 
um, if they do like if they go into other characters for a bit for a chapter or two Toga's probably gonna find them and the door's gonna talk to her and then she's gonna fucking cause she's already having doubts during the whole like Giganto Machia yeah fucking up like the whole cities for just to just to prove something I guess or whatever she's probably gonna join up with the heroes Especially if Stain, especially if it comes out Stain's joining. Well, yeah. like since we're since we're on the topic of Tokyo, like can we just talk about She's the dick. loss of of twice? Oh my god! That shit was like it actually fucking made me really sad. Well, it was, go. I felt really bad on everybody's end when twice passed. Not like on the hero side too, because Hawks really didn't want to do it. Yeah, he was so against himself. But he needed on doing to. It, but he really had to. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have just gotten so much worse. Because twice yeah. could have copied any like imagine if he copied like um oh is it OFA one for no AFO yeah Alpha imagine one. if he just AFO copied Shigaraki. Shigaraki as he is now like just 10 OP Shigarakis yeah and that's the biggest problem is like Shigaraki is now so fast and so powerful a copy wouldn't be hit are they they're not of course twice his copies aren't very durable but that's catching it. I mean, it Midori comes with the could, same power. He, if Midori threw a kick their way, it would sh- like just crumble all the. But all if the clones. Midori's not there, though, but yeah, that's also if he hits the clones and, and if the clones there. doesn't all it takes stop is a burst of air. I know, but they can stop it but too. Also, if Midori's even there, yeah, that's because it could just be like oh. Well, yeah. like the he did have a good death though, just because it was Hawks killing him. Like it could have yeah. been worse. They could have treated him like shit. Because like I remember when Twice was first introduced, everybody thought of him as like a Deadpool ripoff. Yeah. And like in my head, I was like, okay, guys, but wait, because but, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta see his character a little more before you can just judge also, him by the costume. Um, I don't. Even if it is the case, it's like who cares? Because like the whole, the whole story is because is like it's inspired. It's inspired by Western Marvel. heroes, yeah, DC yeah. and Marvel. Yeah. So like. Um, and he's come out and said that. And well, so like, he's also come my, out and stated that uh, AFO's like design was modeled after Darth Vader. He got the idea of yeah. like the whole helmet respirator from and also, Darth yeah. Vader Star my, Wars. Is like his inspiration is a mix of Goku and Superman. Yeah, yeah. Who like he, they he both wanted, smile when they come in the? Yeah, he wanted All Might as the like iconic American hero. You like guys, what you see in every because well, all his moves too are like. Look. You, um, Tennessee, Texas. United Do you guys States. know the number one hero in America in the My Hero universe? Spider-Man. No, Spider-Man. No, and also speaking of the tape guy is inspired directly of Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. So it's Deku's Black Whip. Yeah. Um, and it's Spider Sense now. Uh, but did you guys know the number one hero in America in that show? I remember them saying it, but I don't remember who it was. The name's Captain Celebrity. Captain Celebrity. <laughs> and it's like the most fuckboy looking character in the show. Is that really? in um, the movies or is it in the manga? Uh, it's in, it's in Vigilantes. Like, oh, I got yeah. Vigilantes. Well, I, gotta, I gotta get on to it. Is he still the one hero? Because that's like a prequel. I'm like, pretty before, sure that's he's like, still. Because that's pre one. All my. That's pre fight with yeah, the One for All, all, for all, all he, where they both get all one. fucked up. Yeah. So who knows what. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that he's still the number one hero of America. Yeah. And then they didn't show it in um, the first movie. Yeah, they I didn't th- show it. I'm, I'm kind of th- sad that they're taking Midori's character in like a Spider-Man. Yeah. Sense. I mean, like it's cool, right? Because I love like he's my favorite superhero out of the Marvel universe. I dig it, but I can see why people won't or don't. Yeah. Because of like, of course, it's there's taking inspiration and there's just like straight plagiarism and like it's on the border and I'm not gonna say he plagiarized because they're two different characters well cause it's like it's just superpowers like but he ugh. has he ha- and My it's bad. understandable as to why he has similar powers I mean like it's not a spider sense well, cause it's literally, just a danger Invincible is just literally like the the dad what's his name Omni-Man, Omni-Man. Um, he's yeah. literally just Superman that's yeah, we'll get we'll get to that. So, yes, yeah, so, like, I'm, I'm just trying to. I know, but I'm just I know you're making comparisons. comparisons. Yeah, so it's like yeah. I don't get if like if it's similar powers like who fucking cares? It's super, how many like unique superpowers can you honestly? Yeah, I, and the show has already come up with like a shit. Oh uh, yeah, the, the the show has like so many unique ways of explaining superpowers. But yeah. like with Bakugo, for example, um, it's not his superpower isn't just explosions. He yeah. sweats nitroglycerin that can cause explosions. Yeah, which is a very different like of just being able to explode. <laughs> um, real quick before we go on, um, if that dims, 
I can just take the image and just paste it across the whole thing, so we don't need to worry about like fucking messing with it to keep it. Oh, okay, active. yeah, yeah, we'll be good. That's it. Okay, continue. <laughs> but um, like the the creator of My Hero Academia has come out with so many like different powers. It's hard not to like mimic off certain things because, yeah. in my opinion. Yet there's been shows that show like the guy's so strong he can shin shock waves and mess with the clouds and stuff. But like that's an average like idea of strength of like superpower. Yeah. yeah. Like that's that's gonna be explained through any superhero movie, any superhero show. And but he's come up with stuff like elbow tape. Like, well, it's like all this <laughs> I every, get where most, it's inspired, majority but. of them not majority, probably like half at least or around. It's like all unique. Like you, most people probably haven't like even thought of, but it's yeah. like for the most part, any superhero-based like story, movie, show, comic, whatever. It's like honestly, it's like it's all just superhero. It's like it's just regular what everyone thinks of superhero powers. Well, so yeah. obviously, like speed, flight power, like fucking t- but, spider people, whatever. But it's like one thing that I like that my people, hero academia does mm-hmm. compared to other superhero shows is the fact that my hero academia adds limitations yeah yeah regular superhero shows it's just like oh this guy's able to go full power 100 percent all the time but you got characters like todoroki and bakugo, bakugo. when they abuse their powers even too endeavor. much it harms them even endeavor yeah and todoroki was created to basically Literally, where every, that doesn't happen every um like they at least to some extent every character has that like hawks has it yeah his wings and then like every, every pro every like training they say like oh i think for almost every character they say oh if he does this too much and yeah they they, they explain their he, powers as like a physical thing and it, it, it puts strain on them because it, they um i think they explained it in the uh tournament arc i think bakugo explained it almost like it's like a muscle it can yeah. be overworked to the degree to where it hurts you yeah yeah but um but um yeah but like i guess but like my hero does go like every single character almost when they when like president mike's talking about them even like when he talks about himself it's like yeah the, his his quirk is this this and that but if he does this or if this happens then it always know, has like, a weakness to yeah, balance yeah. It out. there's a downside to so, it. so all right so like the thing about my hero that makes me love it so much is the the writing and progression of not only the characters but how the powers work. Like you can start out with a power of like in the show, for example, because it's quirk awakening. Yeah, I, I mean, like as you grow, your power progresses. So, like in the show, they had an example of a character who thinks they control water, but in, as they grow, they learn that they're just like turning the particles in the air into moisture. And yeah. just like creating, wa- they're not shooting it from themselves. They're creating it around the air, and like shit like that is really what hooked me onto the the idea that this show created. Because I'm like, if the powers can pro- can progress, that leaves infinite ideas. And like, and you, combined, of of course, this this anime is not like I I know it has flaws. It's not the best anime out there. But to me. Personally, it is my favorite it thing is a, ever. It is definitely up there in, like, top tier of my favorite animes. And people compare it all the time to, like, Naruto. I, I, I feel about. like My Hero Academia is in a different class of its own. Like, you can compare it to Naruto, you can compare it to Dragon Ball Z, but they're completely different stories. Mm-hmm. My Hero Academia has taken a turn compared to other things that's completely different. Like, you can say dumb shit like, Bakugo is kind of like Naruto because he's loud, obnoxious, and annoying. Well... Bakugo isn't the main focus. He's not the main character. Midoriya is the main character. Midoriya is completely different than any other main character I've seen in any show. I, I've heard I've one heard thing go- I hate. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, one thing I hate that, like people who those people just like to shit on something just to shit on it. I hate how they um, they'll be like, oh well, this is just like this anime or this show or this movie, and it's like, you know, fucking especially as like things as we have a lot of media. And it's kind of hard to come up with like a completely um, original, brand new like, idea. Honestly, and yeah, but I mean, sometimes that does happen. Yeah, like yeah, like, like Parasite. I feel like yeah, maybe. yeah, and that's like actually one of the most original then, in its senses of yeah. ideas. But but then it's like um, people get all mad, but it's like 
fucking most people who like create something is inspired by something else or yeah. takes like there's only exactly. so many ideas you can well, like, up with the, the creator of naruto has even came out and stated himself that the rasengan was inspired by the comic coming yeah. off yeah. Like, it, it wasn't necessarily, like, he made it because he saw the comic coming, ha, huh? but he designed it similar, so same color, same act. Yeah, and it I, inspired him to make the technique. And doesn't bet, mean it is. See, the, the and main, I bet you, um, like, the whole Nine Tails mode is probably inspired by, like, Super Saiyan. Well, oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, the whole thing about, because I've heard comparisons, like, Midori is just like Naruto because uh, he's a character that was he's, totally weak, useless, couldn't master anything, but has this overpowered, you know, fucking uh, ability handed to him. And, and it's also when, like, well, his whole goal is to become number one. But I mean, you can like, say Naruto's that, like Hokage. Well, like, you can say the same thing about every fucking main person. Well, Goku wants anime. to be the strongest. I mean, like, there's Tokyo um, Ghoul. Like, yeah. he gets the like one of the strongest fucking like abilities from the ghouls. Yeah. And it just so happened to happen to him. Or like, um, you know, Luffy gets one of the most like fucking iconic, overpowered. And, like overpowered well, abilities. It's also too. It's one of those ones. I think Luffy is similar to Midoriya because it's like at first I was like, oh, he's just he's just a rubber guy. He just stretches. But then as like the anime and manga went on, yeah, he it's uses like he it gets like he gets like. like I would like to mo- more like power ups or whatever. Let's back up really quick to the Naruto and Midori comparison that you make. Yeah. The the people that had told you that comparison, they do not know Naruto at all. Naruto's Naruto dumb. Naruto was actually born with immense chakra output. His two he was parents hated by everybody. have yeah, his two parents literally have like the biggest chakra pool known the man. Well, like for- they're fucking massive, and for Naruto as a baby. To be able to hold half the nine tails chakra is fucking insane. Yeah. It's because you have to have the same amount of output of chakra as the creature you're containing, it's mostly, otherwise it'll break free. It's mostly because it's Uzumaki. Because well, yeah, Uzumaki every, everyone else before output. him. Now, for context, I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new when it comes to anime. Um, I didn't start watching until like five years ago. Yeah. And so, like, I'm, I'm still, I haven't finished Naruto all the way yet, but I, I am getting there. Um, I, I am caught up with One Piece, not from watching it, but watching it enough and then, like, hearing about yeah. know, certain events and arcs. And, uh, you know, I'm caught, like, I, I'm into Tokyo Ghoul, Mob Psycho, One Punch Man. Um, I, I'm into stuff, I'm getting into, uh, how, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's a Dude, pretty that's oh, a really started, good one. I started that one. That's a good that's one. That's a pretty good anime. But, like, uh... You know, I'm watching all these anime. And Maybe it's one of the strongest, like, I love, skills in that, too. Yeah, and I love I love anime that I didn't think I would like. You know, because when I was a kid, I used to make fun of Trace all the time for liking Dragon Ball. Like, I used to <laughs> I used to be like, oh, he's so gay because he loves the show about shirtless men screaming. His sweaty muscles and screaming. And I remember he'd be like, you just don't get it. And I totally didn't. But, like, watching Dragon Ball and thinking that I wouldn't get into it I had this charm to it that I couldn't help but love. Like yeah. it's just it's so fun loving and it's so it seems so innocent, but shit can get real really fast and when it gets real it's really entertaining to watch. Oh yeah. So like I, I watch all these, but when I when I tell people like I love my hero, they always tell me it's because you're a new fan. And I I kinda have to disagree because I'm going in with a non bias on anime. Like with Dra- for example, when I went into Dragon Ball I did have a bias against it. Yeah. But I ended up loving it. Yeah, well, it's like, like immensely. My um, Tyler. Yeah. Um, he he's like a anime connoisseur. In a <laughs> oh sense. God, like a not snob. Like, no, not like a snob. Like in the sense of like um, he watches like, mo- like non show non like popular or whatever. Yeah. Non shonen. Like he'll yeah. watch like slice of bunch of, like slice of life, mm-hmm. and all those other like really like kind of obscure ones. But he loves like my hero. He's like my yeah. Hero. So well, it's like I think anyone, and it's also kind of I hate how people are like oh you watch shonen. It's like people have their. It's like sorry, Mister Mainstream, yeah, like hater. So, I didn't I, realize. Sorry. One thing too that I've noticed with My Hero Academia is I've actually have gotten a lot of people that didn't like anime to watch My Hero Academia and them end up loving it. Like they don't like any other anime, but My Hero Academia captures them. Like. I have a coworker. Her kids 
talk about My Hero Academia all the time. And before My Hero Academia was out, they didn't like anime. They never watched it. Mm -hmm. And uh, all she hears about is them talking about My Hero Academia and that the new season's coming out, all this is dropping, new movies coming. And, like, it's just really cool to think about Mm -hmm. how big uh, this show has gotten in the sense of, like, even to people that don't like anime. Like, I know, uh, Kev, when you first started, I got you to watch the Nomu and All Might fight in yeah. my academia. And you're like, wow, this is pretty cool. And I was like, we'll That's watch it from my the favorite beginning fights, together. Honestly. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. And we backed it up, and you watched the entire season with Dude, me you that night. Left, you left, okay, so you left me at, like, we watched season one, you left me at the end of season one, and you went to you went to Devon's for like three hours. You get back and I'm like ten episodes into season two and you open that door and I'm like in my head I felt like I had bloodshot eyes and I looked up at you and I was like, This show's so good. It's like two AM I'm like fucking wired. Uh, the one thing that I have heard that's really stupid about a critique like a criticism of my hero academia is it's it's getting too popular. I, I, can't, so I can't stand that hipster mindset because it's, it's too like, mainstream. I'm not going to watch it anymore. It's, yeah, it's very it's so toxic. Dumb. And it happens to shows constantly. Like Rick and Morty, that's yeah. a huge uh, show that's that's taken in effect by this, this mindset of like, oh, since it's getting popular, the comedy is going down. Well, let me tell you, like as a as a hardcore fan of Rick and Morty, one that tends down. to stay away from like people who make scenes that they love the show in public like i'll say yeah i love rick and morty but and I i'll wear go a out shirt and, I'll, I'll wear a shirt for sure but like i won't go out and be like yeah pickle rick you know that's just that's that's cringy don't do yeah. that with any <laughs> show not just pick like rick and morty um you know i i fucking i hate when people base a show off of the fan base yeah because fan bases and anything are gonna be well, there's a lot of shit like i like um like undertale I like Undertale, but like the I'm whole fan, fan base. It's fine that you I know, but that, but like it doesn't matter. But it was like the fan base. I hate the fan base. It's yeah. awful. Is it? Yeah. Is it how bad? Like why? They're just very toxic, just in general. How so? You know, you know, there, there, there's a big, uh, there's a big thing on that. Like, um, what's a bi- <sighs> Rainbow Six Siege fans? Like, yeah. jump on the game subject, for example. That is the most toxic. Mm. I've ever dealt with yeah. like online and talkative. Oh I, the most toxic I've ever dealt with, of course, on like, and it's gonna sound rude, but like, the most toxic online forums I had ever dealt with were furry forums. Oh, furry yeah. forums, and yeah, and the reason why I ever ran into that as like the most toxic is because of people like posting, uh, nude art of their furry personas and people being upset because they're like, Hey, it's just, it's a, you're showing nudity. Like that you were originally showing these peaceful, like cool drawings. And now you're showing nudity and the fans just jump on that guy of like, no, it's, this is our, you know, yada, yada. And it's like, they're attacking this guy off of the simple opinion. I'm going to play devil's advocate. It's like, um, don't, so like on the guy who's like kind of on him about like why are you doing this it's like to be fair um the guy who's posting the art could have because there are a ton of people who just don't like looking at that kind of stuff right yeah so it's like you could well, most people i follow at least when they start getting to that they'll make like a second twitter yeah or well, it's, something it's because of or they'll, those people or they'll, or they'll say a disclaimer like, "Hey, I'm gonna start posting this kind of stuff now." So sorry. Well, you gotta like reach your demographic. Why not? Yeah. You know, like right at the start, you need to you need to establish who you are, like yeah. who you want to be yeah. and who but you, you know, want around. A lot of those guys, they just want to do it because they like doing it. Yeah, and there are there are like I was gonna take Tracy's side and be the devil's advocate for this because there are sides that you can take. It's, it's kind of like a double edged sword in the sense of like there are people that that like can rightfully do there's a right way to do that and then there's a wrong well, way yeah. to do that and yeah, shadman then... is like i i hate to pull out like a name right but like if we're talking shadman if we're talking controversy shadman like it, he he's gotten fucking like rapid flame for for all the shit that he puts out and it's it's because it's lolly for one and yeah. like then there's he, like he got run stuff. out of his own country because uh he was he was breaking that law yeah, you know, like he it, where he was living. Just drawing porn in general. Like no, just drawing like children in in pornographic oh. situations. Oh, because the way he said it, at least on the Oni, 
Um, uh, no, Slippy Cabin, I mean. He was like, yeah, but, well, he didn't, I don't think he literally talked about him getting actually kicked out. Yeah. It was just like, he was in college there, and he was just like, he started getting into drawing just like regular porn. Yes. And then they found out somehow, and they're like, you get, you can't be here anymore. Well, and yeah, then, well, like, Shad, uh, Shadman, like, at least he established his community. Yeah. Like, everybody there that, that likes his art are they're freaks in one way or another to be honest like i've i've jerked off to some of his shit but at the same time it's he also not his like, regular art's pretty good too. his regular art is good and he's he's not a bad artist but at the same time uh, like after he is a most after i found artist, out like so. the the volley shit you know um <laughs> i got more excited <laughs> i got, it just I got it super excited it just made it better. No. <laughs> uh when 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 i kind of like he's at first i was like all right Chef don't judge. He just makes the soup, you know. You know, like, he, I, I, whatever. I'm not gonna jerk off to it, and it's I'm not for a fan whoever. Of, but like, I'm not a fan of this fish, but I like the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but it's the it's that it was that way until he just kept doing it and then pushing boundaries with people. Because you can't do that when you're dealing with such a touchy subject. Like there are yeah. borders you can, you shouldn't cross. Like it's not that you can't cross them. Of course you can. It's whether you should or not. And at a certain point when people are telling you, please stop, or like, this isn't okay, and you're painting this, um, like, horrific picture of yourself on- online, you're not doing yourself a service in any way, shape, or form. Like, yeah. if you want to stay online, you shouldn't You shouldn't be so extreme in that sense. Like, fine, it's fuck censorship. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, I can't stand it. But I'm not going to go posting, you know... Trying to near pornographic <laughs> images of children Shadman. because yeah, I'm not even gonna do that because I, I can't I can't imagine somebody doing that to like. Is it Shad or Shad? I think, I think people it's call Shad. Him Shad. I think it's Shadman. Um, tells you how much I know about. Him. I think Slew Shadman <laughs> calls him Shad, and he's like, I mean, hey, I, I am, it's me, Shad. I've seen some shit on it. Like that's how I know. But uh, the point, like that, I was trying to make was there are some people where you're like, yeah, create what you want, and then there are some people like they'll go to the extreme and like they will keep pushing and pushing to a point w- where there's nothing left but people to just ignore it. Yeah. and like at that point you're losing your traction but anyway back to the furry porn <laughs> you were into my hero before all this yeah okay yeah. Let, let's, but like, let's well let me let, finish this thought real quick okay cause when uh, but that was like kind of side of people who are like attacking because we're kind of just talking about that, so it's kind of related. Yeah, I mean, like, in no, in no like, way are we, like, attacking. But it depends. More. I don't yeah, know no. how the guy worded it. So it could be just people, like, don't talk bad about any art. But if, depending on how he worded that thing, it was like, why are you posting? So he could have been like, why are you posting this stupid shit or whatever? Yeah, yeah, of or, course. That's, then I understand people being like, it's art, don't judge, or shut up, or whatever. But if it, he's just like, hey, like, you're posting this stuff before like why also started posting this on least on this main account i get yeah. and then then it's stupid if they were like it's our don't judge like stupid because like there's obviously like i said earlier there's a ton of people who just are not into like porn art or just porn like yeah and, and any porn or animated porn whatever it is like looking at like what he like the drawing like the cat like the nice yeah they were like a original drawings. concept before the yeah the, the the whole like jump on the topic though was in every fan base there is both a good and a bad side yeah no matter how it gets and i feel like getting back on the topic of the people you were talking about there were saying that they don't like my hair academia because it's getting more mainstream well people are saying that because now it's starting to get a bad side community but that's because it's popular that's a good thing but it's always been there though yeah like the bad yeah it's it's always been there It's always been there since day one. It's just more apparent because more people are joining. Exactly. And so, but in my opinion, I don't care how mainstream a certain thing gets. That means animation gets better. The writing gets better. Episodes come out faster. All these positives about it. I don't care how mainstream it is. The more mainstream it is, the more money it's making, exactly. the more it will do better. It's 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 a good thing. And people don't see that because they're too fucking egotistical. Well, because they also just like yeah. the hate, just the hate. Well, exactly. Like, they're bandwagons. Yeah. You know, like, you, 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 with the whole Rick and Morty thing, I hated seeing that because, like, at first I was, like, so happy it was getting the traction. Because I was around since season one. Uh, the first episode I watched was the free one that Adult Swim had released on their YouTube channel um, where... 
Morty had turned the entire town into fucking bugs with a <laughs> with a date yeah. rape drug. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first episode, I think. No, no, no. The no, no, no. The first episode's called yeah. Pilot. It's the... No, that is the first episode. It's called Mighty... It's called, uh... Love Potion number nine or something. Yeah, I think shit. it is the yeah. first one because yeah, that, that was the first really episode. He is right. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's because Rick. Uh, the first episode the... is when he shoves the seeds up. His oh face. yeah, you're right. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, you're right. It's like really yeah, early though. Yeah. yeah, no, it was past episode four. I'm pretty sure because it was after an Avenue Park. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was towards it was a the end bit of the ahead. season. You, you know what's making me think of that though? It's because the beginning of that episode started like the very first episode with Rick busting into Morty's room, going, yeah. "Come on, Morty, that's gonna like ah, that's Morty. that's what's making me think that it was the same episode." Yeah, but people hopped on like this bandwagon and watching it unfold. I was super hyped to see it come up in status because it was well deserved. It not only filled my need for like Futurama because at the time I had just finished it. Oh yeah. So like I was so sad that it ended. That comes out and it filled my need for sci-fi like comedy. And that shit is perfect. I don't oh, care yeah. what it's anybody really good. like even season fucking 4. I bought that shit. Like yeah. it's so good. I can't tell Dude, you how much I love almost One thing every I episode. hate too about toxic fan like the fan bases. There's always those like you know the shippers Right. Uh, let's. Uh, I yeah. All right. I'll, Listen, I'll, I'll, I don't I, hate. I'm not hating on like the ships themselves. I don't. I'm care. hating on like the people who like. It's not like the if the store if they don't make it canonical, and they're like. They attack. They, yeah, they attack the creator and it's like, why don't you make? Because like Baker and my hero is yeah. um Ka- is Bakugo and um Kirishima. That's a, that's a huge one, and I don't know. Obviously, he might, but I don't know if he like I, if there's. I think I don't know whatever if he makes it or not but so far he hasn't obviously and everyone's like why don't you why didn't you make it can and it's like they obviously should be together and it's like that's maybe to you but it's like it's his story you don't try to like change it because you want to see two characters I, together I should, I should do some research for our next episode I'm gonna do some research on if Japan thinks the same way that like you know America does about the show like if Japan thinks it's too mainstream now <laughs> I, w- I want to like because in statistics I want to see I want to see how fucking like ignorant to the subject everybody is you can look it up right now on that bad boy <laughs> but like um, five camera phone back. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> five cameras baby oh yeah but I My Hair Academia has done nothing but go up in my opinion and yes. like the thing is is like there's a lot of uh, subtle things that the creator has left that has now been established and like ah uh, i'm kind of dumb for not thinking that at first like the whole um dobby being Todoroki's well, brother. people called that from the like, beginning i know and like when i first heard of the theory i was like that's kind of dumb i was like why would why wouldn't endeavor you that for me why i heard it from you and trace at the same time i believe i think it was dallas actually. yeah it was dallas he was you and dallas you guys both mentioned it and my whole argument against it was the fact that the chapter where Dobby fights Endeavor had just came out. And Endeavor hadn't done anything to be like, I recognize those flames. I know where that's from. Like, none of that processed. And I was just kind of like... understand more when the backstory yeah. comes out. Yeah, and so I was sitting there and I was like, I feel like Endeavor would know his own kid's quirk. I feel like like that was like my big it argument. Wasn't, it wasn't blue it. at first too, and he wasn't using Endeavor's moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And th- he that's... knows Endeavor's signature moves, so if he would have used them, Endeavor would be like, yeah, exactly. He's the only one I taught that. Like to. that, that all made sense when his backstory came out and everything. But like, um, right before it was a hundred percent revealed, I was looking at all the different things that kept Kevin and Dallas were telling me about, like these comparisons and things to look at. And what I didn't notice when I first read that chapter, which I think Kevin pointed out, was the fact that Dobby called Endeavor by his first and last name. Yeah. And when he first met Todoroki in the um, the and training still force, in Shoto. Yeah, in the training force, he referred to Todoroki as Shoto Todoroki. And also, but by everybody else, he either referred to them as their hero name or just their last name. Yeah. And, and also, it was they, very odd. There was a point too. When, it was, just, when it was still just a theory, like his mom, um, how like he has like her like physical traits, yeah, like her, so her she body. can't handle fire. Yeah. So he got that. Yeah. So that's why it, that explains like his scars and everything. Well, actually, um, reading one of the newer chapters, of My Academia, Dobby's jaw 
isn't his. That's a dead person's jaw stapled onto his face because it was said when Dobby had exploded, exploded <laughs> basically. The only thing left was his jaw and his bur- his burial was just a box with his jaw in it. So his jaw that he has in the show right now, it's his whole his. jaw and neck, that is not his. Yeah. And I wonder what happened that he was able to get repaired to the degree because that whole wound would be deadly. You'd well, be dead. He's basically headless. Who knows whose quirk helped him, though? It probably... No, Some, it couldn't have been all for one. Yeah, it, 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 there's a big... Um, the whole conspiracy well, on like, that, though... What about the is, doctor? Well, because even though... It could have been. It well, could have been the doctor. It's also, too, like... All the criminals, even though they're villains, quote unquote, or criminals, it's like yeah. not all of them are like terrible people. If they, they, they probably, just got dealt it's shitty like, hands. Well, it's also oh, like, yeah. like they, they're like bad in the sense that they commit crimes and harm people and stuff. But not all of them are like this evil person. They probably saw like some kid who's half dead and was like, yeah. I'll save this. It's a kid too, so he's like, I'll save this kid. Well, so like, I got a, <laughs> I have a theory idea that I want to drop with you guys to this. Want to discuss? What do you guys think about the theory of Shigaraki receiving his quirk from All for One so he would kill his family I think unknowingly? I think that's um, very accurate because he, because there was like the thing where like some yeah, random man. I never thought about that. Yeah. Well, remember I, that? Apparently there was a scene well, yeah, where there was some random guy. ran into him in the, yeah. in the alleyway. Some random no, guy no. He ran into the alleyway. That was, that was after. That was, like when he was sitting on the ground. Yeah. No, 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 no. I think there was some random. I don't know. I didn't. Well, I didn't read. I watched YouTube videos on. Yeah, but yeah. I remember there's a scene that everyone refers to when they talk about this. Is when some random guy brings him home. He's like, "Oh, this kid was lost." Yeah, and that's just what feels I like mean. the bottom of his face. So it's like that could have been all for one, and he probably figured out that was. Um, not what was her name? Nana Shimura. Nana. 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 Nana Shimura. That's kind of Nana. Like it was probably Nana's grandson. He probably figured that out easily. Oh, yeah, he, he these, probably was trying. So he's like. All right, bet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, poor fucking Shikaraki got dealt the worst hand of all due to the sole fact that he didn't know. Because he knew that, his though. Quirk, his quirk, he couldn't turn it off. The dog. Yeah. The fact that he was sad, depressed, you know, <laughs> snuggling with his dog, it's and all of a sudden fucking... it just starts decaying oh in God. his hands. Like, it's so sad. And it goes to his whole family. And then he's like, I'm going to make this yeah. kid who's... A holder's See, grandson. People take my, my then my my um apprentice whatever next what is it called? Uh, it, the ne- uh, next not uh, apprentice, but like they call it something. Next holder or yeah, but they successor. Call it, yeah, successor. Yeah. See, uh, a lot of people say my hero is overrated, but when I talk about my hero with other people, I like outside my friend group because I'm super passionate about it. Like, I fucking love everything about that show. Like, you recommend it to people who... Everybody. Yeah. Anybody and everybody I'll recommend it to. Just like One Punch Man. But, um, the one... Like, when I talk... Everybody says it's overrated. People hype it up too much. When I talk to my, like, other people about it, they're usually like, ah, it's okay. It's okay. Or they'll say it's overrated. And I'm like, well, the fact that a general consensus that I've been asking around is, eh, it's okay doesn't mean it's overrated. I just think people are saying it's overrated because well, it's not, of how popular it's gotten. Yeah. Well, at least people it's like, they say it's okay. They're not like hitting it. It's like, that's not their style, essentially. Because everyone has their own style. Yeah. Cause yeah, essentially. My hero's a very shonen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like... It's got a lot get, of traits. I hate, like, it's, when people get shown for liking shonen, but it's like, people just like action. And majority of the action anime are like... Same thing with movies. A lot of people prefer like, either comedies or action. It's the same thing with any TV show or anime. It's like, yeah, like I prefer... Slice of Life, I prefer yeah. comedy. Well, that's why Studio romantic. Ghibli movies are so popular in America. Yeah, but it's like, it's just action. It's like, this is a drama that people are into, and this is happening that Shonen has majority of, um, at least the good action ones. Do you guys yeah. want to pause this and go get some energy drinks? Because I'm I have G-Fuel. feeling it. You want G-Fuel? <laughs> sure. Actually, G-Fuel would be great. Uh, I'm down. Okay. Snatch natural vitamins, and then we don't have to talk. It's we a, just, or we don't have to stop. We can keep talking. <laughs> yeah, and I got some meth right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> mm. I'm so no. wired. I'm, I know we're not gonna get any views for this, but are we still paused? Are we not paused? No, we're not paused. We, um, if uh, someone from G Fuel. Um, oh God! <laughs> stop the plugging. You know. Stop it! Stop it! Turn stop it over! Turn it over! Is- <laughs> no. <laughs> But um, be funny if I just, like, one thing I wanted to talk about too while we're all here, 
I don't know if you're into it because this was a show Hold that on, hit. Because this isn't what you want to talk about. This is what I want. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> <right. laughs> the the show I'm about to bring up was a show that kind of hit real mainstream, and a lot of people didn't uh, stop watching it because of it. What? Breaking Bad. Dude, all the way through was good. Yeah. So, did you hear the news about Breaking Bad? What was supposed to happen in 2021? No. They announced that they're going to release the final six season, and they were planning on releasing it at the end of 2021. Well, that was wasn't this it? Was, wasn't, yeah, that was this El was Camino. planned. No, it's there's only five seasons. Yeah, but the El, El Camino, Camino was like the continuation. Of oh, it. is it? Yeah, is dude. what El Camino is supposed El, to be. El Camino it's is Jesse's when just whole story after. Yeah, he oh. when he escapes, dude. Okay, like it, it starts right where he's driving like, off with the fucking. So it, Je- Jesse's the main character. Yeah, and it's, okay. and it's him building it's his life like back. Ending, up. ending. Yeah. Okay, I, I definitely got to jump on that and watch it then because oh, for sure. yeah, it's, I, I didn't know because be all the pages I was doing. Yeah, for sure. yeah, we'll we'll definitely watch it and we'll jump on that. Yeah, we also we we all need we should like find a day this week to sit down and binge watch all the like kaiju movies. Like, yeah, Monster, yeah like, so we can go over because I got King Kong. I just got Godzilla. yeah, I just got Godzilla King of Monsters on 4K and Blu-ray awesome. DVD. Um, one thing um, and I got HBO Max did you for it? hot. No, it's still going. Yeah. Okay. Well, we we um I also got HBO Max and uh, Godzilla vs Kong is on HBO Max and I hear it's a banger. Awesome. It's got Mecha Godzilla in it. Yeah, well we'll try to jump on uh more of the Breaking Bad subject and uh, Godzilla vs King Kong uh, next for week. Sure, we'll, for try, sure. we'll try to see what we can jump on him next week. Um, another thing, have you guys been keeping up with the Dragon Ball Super manga? Yes, uh, no. no. No, I know I what know happens. I know that Moro turns into a a planet, planet. <laughs> and they like I don't. Well, I, did you? I don't know uh, how they took him. So, um, kind of spoilers for everybody right I'm now. It's not, it's not just crazy. because I, I'm willing to like watch through it being animated. Yeah, it's not like anything crazy. Spoiler. Whatever the fuck it's but coming back. Apparently, there's another planet in Universe Seven that has Dragon Balls. And that planet has a whole different Shenron, a whole different look, and it's only one Dragon Ball. Two. One, it's it's two. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's two Dragon Balls that summons the Shenron. Ooh, don't get it wrong. The Fans will get you. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've read the chapter once. Okay, but um, this guy is trying to become the strongest person in the universe. Okay. And of course, the dragon tells him, "Well, I can't just give you power." It's not just something that comes out of nowhere. Kind of like the dragon almost explains it, like with the All Might and Midoriya situation. Mm. Like you'll have all this power, but it could kill you, well, kind of thing. It can only unlock what you have the potential of getting. Yeah, yeah. And so like, the guy's race can live up. They live up to a specific amount of years, like 150 something years or whatever. So he wished for. A body that trained 150 something years nonstop and be that powerful. He was then given that body. He only three years Moro? left to live. No, this new guy. Three years left to live. And his first display of power, he Hakai'd a mountain. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a destruction up. attack. Just Hakai'd a mountain. And Didn't right he, after. Vegeta, can't Vegeta do that? Huh? He's learning it. He's learning it right now. He oh, just right. Vegeta oh, just barely in the chapter learned how to Kai a Topo. Pebble. Vegeta took over Topo's fucking. That's yeah. what I was thinking of. My bad. But like, um, right now the Oracle Fish uh, had just told uh, Beerus and Whis that the strongest person in the universe is approaching. Yeah. And he's referencing that guy. I wonder if they're going to bring Broly into well, this. Because like, I feel like it's going to be so badass. I want Broly in now. It could, yeah. be, it's like, it could be this guy, it could be Goku, it could be Vegeta. It's yeah. Like I'm just really glad they haven't overused him yet. Oh, yeah, no. Like, they, they, I'm, that's something that I expected um, Toyotaro to, to use to the extreme is, like, Broly's addition. But I'm glad he's, like, subdued himself in the urges yeah. to bring Broly and just to fucking overpower Moro. Exactly. That I really admire because I, like, from the beginning, I was like, they're just going to bring Broly in and fuck Moro up. Like, that's what I thought was well, going to happen. The, the coolest part about the Moro fight is that, like... He doesn't have Moro, a power scale. Yeah, Mo- Moro's power wasn't, like, insane to deal with. Here. Oh, thank you, bro. 
It wasn't like I off the charts just, crazy. I just watered down on that because I didn't do full scoops because it was not as big as it is. It's good. The required amount for a full. There's also. Oh yeah, we're good. Put a spoon on that plate or somewhere so because it might need mix. It's a powder. Drink. Okay. But yeah, like Moro wasn't crazy overpowered, and Vegeta came in out of nowhere and almost beat his ass at almost basically in base Vegeta, form. I've heard Vegeta has his really good moments in this arc. Oh yeah, in the Moro fight, in the. So in the moral fight, Vegeta surpassed Goku in how quickly he learned instant transmission and also learned a technique that Goku was unable to learn on Yard Rat. It was like an absorb energy move. Yeah, like every time Vegeta punches, he can release energy from the person. Okay. And so Was it a release or absorb? It's a release. He um he punched Moro so many times it revived a planet. <laughs> Because Moro can... Uh, that's how Moro gets stronger. He sucks in the energy of planets. There's, there's another thing, too, I thought was a theory that, like, why Broly wasn't in it, too. Or why he didn't go after Broly. Because you know how he's, like, sensed power levels? Yeah. Of, like, planets or something? Or the life forms on planets? But it's, like... It's just Broly and, like, two nobody so it's like yeah he can doesn't... sense higher par- higher or similar power levels but multiple of them hey, on a different planet that... but it's like multiple like, combined so it's like yeah just broly by himself it's probably like oh it's like dead or nothing yeah it's it. a whatever uh what is that bitch's name Bulma? which one the green the green chick the green guy i don't know no one cares about her the green girl know. from broly yeah i don't know her name oh but man I know what come about. on um who skimpy cares? no <laughs> Um, Green Hulk, <laughs> She Hulk, She Hulk. If Broly and her ever did have sex, fuck she would ev- be dead. Listen, every fan <laughs> art out there is wrong. It would be a bloody mess. <laughs> she, she would, would get, die. She would literally die from blood loss. She's if anything. thinner than his fucking thigh. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that. That Broly's packing a third fucking leg, also, and his legs kind of, are the size. I of like trees. this. I like Super's Broly, the canonical Broly, better than the movie Broly's. Like the old Broly. Oh, so do I. Actually, I really do. Oh yeah, the, the, old the Broly Super Broly was, was really, so much better. He was just literally like. Baby, cry up angry now. A, abridged <laughs> explained it the best. <laughs> as in, abridged explained it the best as like he's so stupid, but he's so cool. Yeah, he's so fucking stupid. Well, like I believe that Akira Toriyama's original idea for oh no, it wasn't Akira Toriyama. I forgot they had a different director for the movies. But the guy's original idea for Broly was just to make an overpowered son of a bitch. He didn't care, like, background story or anything, like, crazy. The only back- he just like, wanted to make a crazy strong but character. But I bet you he had to come with the background story. Yeah. So he's like, oh, Kakarot's cry and Kakarot's cry. And bro- and bro- <laughs> <laughs> the dude, the, the ego, the, the, like, the guy who made him has for his own creation, like, he, he thinks, he, I, to my knowledge, the things that I've read and the, the, the things that I've heard he thinks that his creation is the most powerful fucking character in Dragon Ball. Yeah. And it's then just Beerus wrong. came out. It's it it just really wrong. is. Like, yeah, maybe before Beerus, but even after Beerus came out, somebody asked him in an interview, and I'm pretty sure. With the guy the created Broly? Was, yeah. He was like, no, Broly could still whoop his ass. And no. Like, yeah, in short, created, that's not exactly what he said. He created Beerus, too, yeah. because he made the movie. Yeah, but he just loves Broly so much. Yeah, that he wanted to admit He's willing to, to suck his dick. Well, did <laughs> he create Broly because wasn't... Because he's in the manga, obviously, so... Well, yeah. no, so, like, the original creator for Broly, I, well, um, yeah. the guy that created the Broly movie, created all of the Dragon Ball movies that came after. Um, the reason why Dragon Ball Super started was because Battle of the Gods was such a big deal that everybody wanted more. So Akira Toriyama jumped on the bandwagon and started making episodes. So, uh, and, but, uh, okay, so, wait, wait, go ahead. Actually, but yes, <laughs> the creator of Broly is also the guy who created, created Beerus. And after the Battle of the Gods, he was asked in an interview... Do you think Broly can beat Beerus? And he said, yeah. He said, Broly can whoop Beerus' ass. Even though Goku busted Broly's nuts open before he even hit Super Saiyan 2. The only way... Well, to be fair, didn't Goku have to go like... Goku had the remaining power of a Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Trunks, and Piccolo. But with all of that, none of them could compare to Cell. Gohan did at Super Saiyan 2, which 
from power scaling seems like Gohan at Super Saiyan 2 would beat the shit out of movie Broly. Yeah. Like, original Broly. And, like, don't get me wrong, dude. Well, then, Broly well, is, is he, my I, favorite Saiyan yeah. in the universe, well, right? But just, I'm not uh, going to say he's the he's, most powerful. No. Gohan is my favorite, but, um, but like, specifically Teen Gohan's my favorite. Yeah, Teen Gohan was so good. Well, I like, I actually, I loved Gohan up until, like, uh, until Z ended. I think I loved, I loved Everybody Super did. Saiyan 2. Yeah. Everybody did. I was really upset Even though he, was, that like, he didn't like have much kid. part in Super. In the manga... Gohan has a lot in Super. Dude, no, Taking no. on fucking Kefla, Kefla? The fact that... Well, no. The, the Gohan fa- can take on Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Goku. Now. No, just, that was kind of bullshit. The, it's because they also said that Android 17 could. But Android 17 couldn't Android compete. Android didn't take him on at Kaioken Blue. I, no, no, no. But blue, he, right, he still took him on at Blue. Yeah. But the thing is, is Sorry, Goku's seen Blue like at months. the time has been shown to be stronger than Frieza's gold form. And 17 couldn't compare to Frieza's gold form. No. That was all just bullshit to kind of throw out there to well, be like, look how strong these guys are. When the, in reality, they're not. The sadder part is, if they didn't rush, like, I want Dragon Ball Super to come out. As soon as it can. But I'm not... I don't want it rushed. No. Like, because the Tournament of Power had a lot of inconsistent power-ups. Oh, yeah. Throughout, like, Bri I can't. Who? I can't <laughs> say this enough. Fuck. Who? Bri She's a rib piece of shit. I see all the Tournament of Power. <laughs> what? Who's that? She's a rib She's the fucking, like, fusion... No. She, she, yeah, she's just like, the the universal love that really like fat annoying bitch yeah, <laughs> that I got see. her ass whooped Dude, so early in the manga okay. that it didn't even fucking matter. There was one scene that I fucking adored with her, and it was when she was rolling out of control and she was heading towards Vegeta, and he was about to deck her in the face, but he got so grossed out by seeing like her face like multiple times as she was rolling, he stopped and got out of the way. <laughs> He was just like, Ugh. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. He's like, I ain't getting touched by that fucking slug monster. I I do find it a little bit. I I get the joke of Rivian's character though. She's really pretty before she transforms, and then she's like, well, it's really like Zarbon. Fat. Yeah, yeah, it's like Zarbon. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> most LGBT community character ever. One Dude. thing that one thing that made me happy though was um, the shit Roshi was able to do. Like but Roshi it was so committed good. so much. Like yeah. even in the mon- Dude, I think the well, manga like, is better than oh, the yeah. anime. The manga's version. tournament of power is a hundred percent better than the anime. I haven't read power. it, so like I had so good. Sat down wasn't Roshi and actually turned out to be super strong? So he, like he, okay, cause so he, cause I, I everybody, heard... every uh, look, sorry that yeah but, sorry. Every character in the Tournament of Power in the manga had so much better things go for them even than Tien? they did. Yeah, even Tien. Even Tien and <laughs> the only don't. person that kind of got fucked over Fuck. it in the manga was Krillin. We're not going to talk about Tien at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's another topic. I'm just, no, I'm just surprised. Yeah, no, but yeah, like, the, even Tien, Krillin, Tien literally is, has been getting shit on since the Saiyan saga. They took away his body. <laughs> yeah. They were like, w- w- we were going to take away your third eye. But that would have made fans too mad. So <laughs> he's like, Wait. Thing, I don't. Oh, speaking of which, how do you guys? We're story compensating your steroids. <laughs> well, it's like you're not um, Arnold's brother anymore. Wait, you know, do like you remember in sister. a bridge they made that joke? Do you remember in a bridge they made that joke? When like between the Frieza saga and the Android saga, oh, like yeah. he's got super. He's like, yeah, not to get so ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, can't fucking, remember what he said. What I love, Did what I, I love about the whole thing, or no, I can't. In my head, it sounded good, but what I love about the whole okay. thing <laughs> is the fact that Tien has done nothing but train since the Saiyan saga. He has done nothing but train. He's and he, when, when Goku showed up to recruit him and R- Roshi, Roshi goes on a, a mad rampage or whatever because he gets, like, charmed or whatever, and Tien jumps in to help Goku fight, and Roshi just... <laughs> just takes his ass out in one swing, and I'm just like, that poor man. <laughs> that poor man. <laughs> So, just uh, getting but no, wasn't it said though too like 
Roshi because Roshi doesn't train. Can, exactly, that's what like, I'm getting it's at. It's like though. Roshi can, training is wasn't it said that point. Roshi could just yeah could have just def- endurance. And <laughs> so wasn't it basically said that Roshi could have just taken out Vegeta and Nappa when they first appeared? And well, then the Mafu book can take out anything. Let's yeah. be honest. Like, and that's then, probably the most OP move. In the uh, honestly, program. and then he could have just um well not the seal ce- was that the ceiling move thing he does yeah yeah no, not that like just power pot. wise oh. can he just like merc Vegeta and Nappa and then sell as well? Did he? No, I mean, couldn't he? No, have because no. But at least Vegeta, at least Vegeta and Nappa. Uh, maybe Nappa, but I don't think Vegeta. Um, because I, specifically, because just I because of Tien, the Galaga gun, I think like, he could have taken it on with a Kamehameha. Well, I think Tien's way stronger than Vegeta when he first appeared. Yeah, but Krillin is like the prodigy of the human of the turtle, race. Of the yeah, turtle, um, he uses the prodigy of the, the human turtle race. <laughs> Am I not tall enough for the <laughs> of the turtle? <laughs> he's, uh, just not, he's not. Uh, he's not turtle enough. He's not turtle. turtle but Krillin's more turtle than anybody. Yeah, like, honestly, I, I feel like he gets a bad rap. The only reason I'm, Goku's strong is because he's a Saiyan. Well, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, he gets. So it's like people be like, "No, Goku's a prodigy. He's stronger." But it's like Krillin's just a guy. Can you just <laughs> imagine though, like if Raditz saw Goku now, he'd be like, "How the." What? The, imagine which one's stronger? Imagine how much, no, blue. Well, well, imagine how much shit he'd get from Vegeta just in general if he came back. Dude, Nappa would get ripped. In, I feel like Vegeta would just lose his mind and be like, <laughs> just <to> rip him <laughs> in half from the torso. Well, Vegeta, no, he wouldn't because now he's a goody guy. He's not a goody guy because he's Goku. Fucking brutal, dude. In in the brain. Why not? But like Goku wouldn't let him, and then he know Bulma would probably be all okay. Pissed so off like too. Goku, you have to remember Goku Vegeta can't has. Do shit, though. Vegeta because has twi- tried more than once to brutally murder Frieza. Yeah, but I mean, like... Like, currently. Well, no, because Frieza's a threat. With Radis and Nappa, they're but just, I mean, they're like, just dude, fucking losers. When Broly was first fighting Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super Broly's movie, um, if you guys remember, in, in the scene where he's... After he turns Super Saiyan, he unleashes an attack. He unleashes an attack, um on Broly and Goku's like Vegeta don't cause he's like he knows it would kill him yeah and, and so like even even after Goku said that dude Vegeta still fucking launched it yeah he was like I don't give a yeah, fuck but, what you say yeah but because Broly also too is becoming like but I feel like it's just just cause it's Radis and Nappa like he's still brutal though yeah but like, I don't yeah, think he, yeah he's brutal when he like isn't a serious fight I could see him but spare like, them but he would beat the shit out of them like yeah. he'd probably be like if you kill people I'll fuck you up because you ever come near my family again? <laughs> the um, well, I feel, I feel one like, thing I feel like he would tell. I feel like he would say like a line for them to cross and yeah. tell them if you cross this line, I'll kill you again. Yeah, yeah. But then, but, but if they just like show up, not doing anything, it's like, what the fuck, guys? Like, if you cross this line again, I will like, snap and your he dick just like so far. <laughs> like if he just like if if he, if it happened to be like if he the first time he he saw them, yeah. If Vegeta, because. Pomo's not gonna be scared of them because she has Vegeta she and like she slapped the <laughs> god of destruction dude like straight up no yeah. fucking hesitation I, I, I just love how she slapped him and he just like turns he just no, but Bulma's got out. the biggest balls. Well, because she'll be like, well, because if, if so let's say Bulma's alone and they show yeah. up, she's gonna be like, I'll get Vegeta here, and they're already scared of Vegeta from the beginning of yeah. Z. Yeah. So it's like, fuck. But then uh. like, but then if. If they just showed up, like, with everyone together, like how, how Future Trunks did, right? Or just yeah. how this how the show just goes. Yeah. People just show up with everybody around, <laughs> like Beerus. Yeah. It's like, and, if, and obviously Goku doesn't recognize them, or whatever. And yeah. if Vegeta just was, like, immediately just trying to kill them, Goku, I don't think he would let them. I think it's just be like, Goku, like, he won't, he's not going to, like, for, he'll, be like, stop and, like, get in his way and then convince him to not to. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a character that you guys He's even go ten for fucking fuck. go and Trunks and Merc fucking yeah I'm gonna right. I'm gonna bring up a character that you guys have, I guarantee you completely forgot about like you would never think the about. turtle Pan no <laughs> the turtle from that lives on Rosie's no. house Puey 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 Trace is looking at me like I'm from Mars um Puey Puey was in the Boo Saga uh, when Gohan and Goku went to go or and Vegeta went to go find uh he, he was inside the um the, the they, levels they had to do yeah they were trying to find Bobbity and uh Puey Puey was that uh, that was like the alien. yeah that like insect alien thing 
He had white armor on. Yeah. 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 He got obliterated he's not by in fucking any, Vegeta. Because he's not in any of the games or anything. No. No, because no, he was, like, in one episode for two minutes. Exactly. Did like, you see Daughtery? Not Daughtery. The, the demon... What's his name? Demon uh, dude? The fucking... Uh, oh, man. Uh, d- uh, hold on. Da- Dabura? Dabura, Dabura, yeah. Dabura. 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 You see Dabura, and you see the meathead and twig boy. I kind of miss Dabura. He was a cool-looking Dabura character. Dabura was really cool. Dude, he... He's in like he's in, he's in like the main villain one of the main villains in um the new universe DLC I think. Oh really? Yeah. That's cool. Would you guys complain if they brought like for another canon movie of Dragon Ball? Would you complain if they brought back Janemba? No. As a canon no. character for no, a villain. I think that'd be cool. A lot of people say that Janemba's like this boo ripoff. Yeah, he is by yeah. far like his first form and his like last form. But he had a sword. <laughs> but he yeah. had a sword. <laughs> he was like trunks. And he was dumber than Boo. Who, in this first one, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a Backstreet Boys impersonator. <laughs> and then even in second form, yeah, yeah, he couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even in second form, he didn't talk. He's just. Argh. <laughs> but I mean, Kid Boo wasn't much better. But he still was like, Kid Boo, kill scream. you. <laughs> <laughs> Really? One, one thing I want to back up and talk about too. <laughs> Let's acknowledge the fact that Broly is the only movie character Who's to cannot. take on the Soul Punisher and live. Who? Oh, uh, the, the, Soul fucking, oh. the Soul Punisher, that rainbow ball. Yeah, it didn't yeah. fully. It like half hit him before. Well, it's, it's it still evil. doesn't matter. Yeah, not completely evil. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, but then it's also like he. It was mid hit. And they teleported his ass out of there. It's, no, that it, wasn't from no, that though. Yeah, no, that he, was during the, like right before well, he got the, hit by the Kamehameha. Yeah, that was the oh, Big Bang Kamehameha that okay, right, would have right, killed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I because he stopped. I don't, he like went out of his berserk mode right before it. Yeah, no, he got hit full force. Please, with, please, no one crucify me. A bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he got hit full force of that Soul Punisher and still got up screaming. I'll I don't care. Back. Like, I know Soul Punisher's thing is because like. Like uh, he ball. wasn't full evil no, or whatever, like it, but like it's he still got hit by it and still was it, fighting. The the point of the move is to obliterate, like literally just evaporate pure evil. Yeah, of and course. Janimba was pure fucking. Evil. What was the name yeah. called again? Soul Punisher. So isn't Soul Punisher? It's in the name. Isn't it just like sp- it's basically spirit, spirit bomb and no, big bang yeah. attack. Well, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like, guess. I guess. Well, well, even, I feel like even then, like Spirit Bomb's concept was the same. It's Frieza got hit by it, but he was a, and was still barely able to stand after. Like Frieza cause... still went on a whole fight, but that's because he but had also more Goku power. wasn't even Super Saiyan level yet, so it's probably not as strong. Yeah, it's probably based then, off Goku as and well. And they also got to remember this is Broly's first time hitting Super Saiyan, and he gets hit with the Soul Punisher. At Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and still was fighting full force. Like yeah. that man well, took a hit like said and was too, still was hitting he, hard. He's not a bad guy, he's just really angry. <laughs> <laughs> he's just really yeah, angry. Yeah, this little buff like, got a lot of pent up queen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I say I say spirit bomb because obviously it's like soul and spirit, right? And yeah. it's like the evil thing. Yeah. But it's like I say the only reason I say Big Bang Attack is just because it's like small and like fucking like in a small sphere and it's like it is the by far my favorite looking wait move. we need to move the controller now it is by far my favorite move in the series just because of how it looks it's the coolest looking move. other than the kefla my key grind he did in the fucking tournament of power that is like, like probably my favorite he, like, scene like grinds on he, like, it like skateboards on his oh uh, dude that was so cool dude when i first saw that i, I was like i'm that. watching all of Dragon Ball within Dude, a week. Dude, <laughs> imagine if they, like, made that, like, a thing this Goku, specifically at least, does, like, a lot from, like, Z at least. Or at least just through the whole tournament of power. He's just like, oh, I can do this now? Fuck. And it's, like, skateboard, like, half punch. <laughs> People say that Super uh, is kind of lackluster when it comes to its originality. Well, but it's who didn't off shit, the entire show. Who didn't shit their pants when Goku, during the hit fight with Hit, like went now I'll show you the Kaioken and like and fucking like, bombs and like honestly, old I was honestly. like it's like because yeah. everyone's like Goku hasn't used Kaioken since fucking before yeah, since Super Saiyan but that, since that was Frieza the whole fight. joke in Dragon Ball Abridged whenever he would go Kaioken and Kyo the characters what? go Kaio what yeah it's because it was completely forgotten after Super Saiyan yeah <laughs> and it, of course I love I love the writing on how they explained why Goku never used it after 
That was such a good way to bring it back, because Goku basically stated he didn't know if it would work. He thought it would kill him. I, I don't know if it's a sub thing, but the dub kind of got the 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 uh, the nature of the key wrong on Kaioken in blue. Um, ah, fuck that. <coughs> Let me see phone While you're looking that up, um, <coughs> I don't know if people are saying this. I but just need to fact I feel like myself. If there's those, because there's always that kind of people, anyways, like who's just like, well, why don't you just try it out at least? It's like, bitch, it's like, if you, it's like, that's the type of shit, you just don't try out and see if yeah. it works. It's like, if you might die instantly, I'm like, we have Dragon Ball, it's like, you don't, you still don't want to die. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, dying sucks. And apparently, you can die, die. I don't know what happens if you die, die. But... I think that's if your soul then <laughs> gets destroyed. Yeah. Like, and if you're like, like, if you're fighting in, like, a fucking... Like, when, when everyone with their halos were fighting Boo. But some yeah. of those people fucking were... Cool, because also, I think that was explained in Z. When Goku died. I think... I don't know for sure. Fact check me if I'm wrong. I think at some point around that time, or at some point in Z, I think they say that, like, if you... If you fucking die here, you're fucking gone. <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of like if you were destroyed. Um, I wonder where things go... Like, I wonder if there's, like, an afterlife for destroyed well, Have things. you seen Supernatural? Huh? Yeah. It could... Have you seen all of it? No. There's this concept... It might be like this. There's this concept, so like... It's not really for souls, like, regular souls. It's more like for angels and demons that die. Because there's no heaven or hell for... It's angels like, and demons? Well, it's like, yeah, it's like... There's nothing... It's like, literally, it's this place called The Empty. And it's just a black void. Like, endless, where, like, they, they're angels and demons or, that die just are asleep. Like, they can't, they don't have any con. It's just they're, <coughs> no, I don't think it's even dreams. I think it's just, out. Hmm. Neat. Right, I think it might be something like that. That'd be neat. Like, it's just, it's just fucking just void of and the, no thought, no. Let's talk about. So, wait, hold on. The, okay, I'm, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I was going to say. In in the dub, um, I, I'm pretty sure they got the natures of the key. Because. Uh, for example, like, he, I remember Goku, or we saying that the, the nature of, it was one of the two, somebody in the show said that the nature of, <clears throat> uh, Super Saiyan Blue was to be, like, to be a relaxing force. Like, after you reach God Key, is a I think relaxing that was, level I think that was Ultra key. Instinct. No, it's a relaxing, like, level of key yeah, throughout ultra, your body. Yeah, Ultra Instinct. It's, it's just, like, flaring, like... It's just letting yeah, your the body... Ul- yeah, Ultra Instinct is, isn't a measure of key. It's just straight power. Yeah. No, well, and, like, up. letting your body move on its own. Yeah. yeah so, like, with, with Super Saiyan Blue, the energy in itself is, like, it doesn't it doesn't flurry everywhere. It's it's kind of just an aura around him. Yeah, While, like, regular Kyrie Super can. Saiyan, it's just, like, spiky aura around him. I think that know? was most... Think... And, and in, in, in the fight with hate, he's, like... Um, uh, Super Saiyan Blue is about um, uh, calming contr- or calming that's energy. More red. That's more regular. He's right? like he's like it's about calming energy and the Ky- mixing that with the calming power of the Kaioken. There's no telling how high it can go. I think that was the exact quote. But I thought the Kaioken, like the Kaioken, was originally explained. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was power originally multiplier. explained as a power multiplier that would significantly just raise and spread your energy yeah i, and I he, believe it's, it's that was aggressive a, either that was a mistranslation from the dub or they just got that wrong yeah because i don't know I, think, what the, I can't remember what the sub said about it but i remember going that's not how kaioken was explained it's not supposed to be a calming energy yeah i, I don't see um blue as the calming rapid. one uh, i think red is a calming one like no God. yeah because yeah because you know he, he does do like the uh, like power up but that's just when he's powering like, he, most times he's just he's just like calm kind of a stable like, point now. Yeah, but then, like, because every time he goes blue, he's like, dar, 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 dar. like <laughs> and he's like that, and he has, like, <laughs> sound like Skrillex. And he has, like, the bursting, <laughs> <laughs> and he has, like, the bursting aura around it, like, not, yeah. like, it just, spiky. It just flares it's like, around him. It's like a giant wave of aura, which yeah. is, like, pretty aggressive, I would Vegeta's say. Vegeta's new form, like, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. That doesn't look badass. It's, it's it basically it's just a sparkly Saiyan. blue. It's just like, Super Saiyan 1.5, let's be honest. It's a Super Saiyan sparkly blue. It's, it's just Super Vegeta, blue. but blue. Yeah. Dude, I honestly, I think Super Vegeta, like when he's in Cell Saga, I think it's probably one of my favorite forms. Do you think if there is a uh, transformation beyond blue, if it's going to be a different color, or just green. like Super Saiyan they go 2? Bro- they go the Broly route, which is green. 
I'd love a Super Saiyan purple. Cool. White or pink or white. Super Saiyan purple? Yeah. That's Dude, they could go the way with like all the fan. <laughs> Super Saiyan's like Super Saiyan 6, like people do, right? It's like, did he's you, white. Did you, know? you guys ever see Super Saiyan 100? No. But you know, it's like, it's probably like white. It might be, it'll be cool if it was, oh, and that's also interesting I now. I got the yeah. perfect Saiyan. Transformation. What are you Can saying, Kevin? The LGBTQ Stop Saiyan. It. He got the rainbow hair, <laughs> and it's always going. <laughs> it's just constantly changing. But it always like has a ponytail, sometimes Can it's I a man button. Do you think I could put? Do you think I'll look? Is, this is a trainer. Do you, oh, a trainer. Do you think my hair is long enough to <laughs> put back in a ponytail or hair bun or something? Or I need to grow it out a little bit more. You need to grow it out a bit more. But I think you could do it now. But um, I think too going back like how Vegeta gets the blue evolution. I kind of like how they took that route with rather splitting the route with Goku and Vegeta instead of just always get like oh Goku gets the form first and then Vegeta gets it. Right, he's like trailing. He's like always behind Goku. While when Gohan just gets thrown off the Goku side. Just gets, Goku just has um, or not Goku. Gohan just has um, um, what's it called? called? The, his ultimate form, but he it's wants not the ultimate form. It's like, called like, like human <clears throat> side of his. But it's his. it's called something. It's like um, potent not potential. Um, because you call him Ultimate Gohan. Huh? Like yeah, no. apparently whatever that form is, right? Because that's a form. They yeah, appa it. apparently Ultimate Gohan is supposed to be. I believe it's like the a, way it's like the way a, it's it was Kai explained power, to me. Right? Yeah, the way it was explained to me is it's the full power of what Gohan can reach at his current state. So basically, going Super Saiyan two, it's like his, would be pointless. It's like his own version of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, it's it's why. Um, I it's, think it's a god it power, was, right? It's because kind of he's got it's, it. He got it from training. Can you hand me one too, please? He, it's, he it's got kinda, it from training with the Kai's and from the Z sword. Yeah, so it was kind of like that, but the like the whole explanation because every there was like a big controversy of like, well, if Gohan was in his ultimate form, why didn't he go Super Saiyan two when he fought Boo to make it easier to like just wipe? Well, you say the same things like wasn't Go Goku just go Super Saiyan as his Ultra Instinct? Yeah, so that the the explanation of it was is Ultimate Gohan is the the full extent of his power that he can currently reach doesn't mean that he can't get better but that's just like um like how i explained earlier about that new character that was just shown in um dragon ball super the the new chapter the guy that just had 150 some odd years of training He's basically at ultimate form. He's at the peak of what his body can reach. And that's kind of like what ultimate is for Gohan. The more he would train, the stronger it would get. But going Super Saiyan 2 would be pointless. Because ultimate form could technically exceed I thought, that. How long have we been going? We've been going for an hour and 12 minutes. I thought Let's ultimate... Go go hold on, I was going to finish this real quick. Um, and I was going back to Goku and Vegeta. Fuck like, I like... Face. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get to finish this thought. I'm just kidding. Um, the when they diverge them, because, like, instead of Go Vegeta always showing up around Goku now, they're taking completely separate paths, because Vegeta unlocked the second stage of Super Saiyan Blue, which Goku's never going to work on, because he has Ultra Instinct now. Yeah. And now Beerus is training, while Whis is training Goku to master Ultra Instinct, completely. Beerus is training. To be, Beerus is training Vegeta to be, like, a god of destruction. Mm -hmm. Hey. Sorry, my cat's being a Alright, guys, we're going to take a quick pause break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty, guys. Well, this is the end of the Pipeline Podcast, and it has been a pleasure serving you guys. Go ahead, Cameron. Say your goodbyes. Later, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Trace. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>